Former co-host on The View and news correspondent on The Oprah Winfrey Show, Lisa Ling is a passionate journalist, author, and activist who's traveled to over 24 countries in her 20-year career. Her most recent travel was to Texas Hall here at UT Arlington, where nearly 2,400 seats were filled for her lecture, Open Heart, Open Mind. She spoke of her experiences across the globe to promote the importance of being aware of the world around us. Ling also shared her message with me earlier that day before her talk to a UTA sociology graduate class. My hope uh, tonight is to try and uh, communicate some of the stories that I've reported on with the hope that students and, and people in the community might think a little bit differently than they otherwise would had they not heard about these issues. As aspiring journalists here, um, how can we promote the global perspective. And what I tell aspiring journalists or, or, or young journalists is if you're in it for fame and fortune, you're in the wrong business. But if you're truly, truly passionate about telling stories and becoming a sponge that wants to absorb everything she or he hears, there's no better kind of work than journalism. Those attending had positive reviews of Ling. Yeah, it's great. She's a very kind and giving person. And um, you know, like what you've seen in the classroom here, I mean, what a great experience for our students. The sociology professor mentioned Ling in her own book called Culture Keeping. I've been a long admirer of her work, um, and uh, I knew the students would get a lot out of it. Ling's lecture that night also encouraged audience members to take on a more global view. She's inspirational. She's done a lot of uh, very positive things that make me, myself, want to be able to do someday. At the end of the lecture, Ling signed copies of her books, Mother, Daughter, Sister, Bride, Rituals of Womanhood, and Somewhere Inside. You can see more of Lisa Ling as the host of National Geographic's Explorer and ABC's Nightline. This is Christine Nicholson for UTA News.